It's Sunday, which means it's time for my Bookish Brits video. It's coming up to the end of 2013, and so today I'm going to discuss my favourite book of 2013, which was Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. If you follow me on Twitter, or subscribe to my YouTube channel, or follow my blog, you will know that I have raved about this book so so much. Fangirl is about a girl called Kath who is in her first year at college. She is a twin and her and her sister Ren have always been inseparable and they have been best friends. So when they go to college and Ren wants to start her own life, Kath is a bit left out. And one thing about Kath is that she is obsessed with a series of books called Simon Snow, which is like Harry Potter to us. The books are absolutely massive and they are so, so popular. And Kath writes fan fiction. In her fictional world she takes the protagonist and the antagonist of the series and puts them together much like Harry and Draco. The first line of Fangirl is there was a boy in her room and that boy may be one of the reasons I loved Fangirl so much. It's hard for your friends to understand if you like something so much and I've struggled in the past with people coming to terms with me reading and it's something that I have to face daily. So Kath being like she was I could just relate her so much more. Rainbow Rowell is also the author of Eleanor and Park and Attachments. Attachments being an adult novel whereas Eleanor and Park is a YA just like Fangirl. Fangirl is out in the UK in the spring but I have the gorgeous hardback US edition but this book just completely stole my heart. I just loved all the book references because all the references to books and the way Kath feels towards books are exactly like how I feel towards books. Rainbow Rowell has created a wild that I want to live in and I feel like I'm a part of. I obviously gave Fangirl five stars when I read it. If I could give a million stars to this book I would still say that it's not enough because this book is unrateable. If you haven't read Fangirl yet I definitely think you should put it on your Christmas lists. And speaking of Christmas I really hope you all have a lovely time and I will see you in two weeks. Happy reading!